Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today we are on the Ash Wednesday and on the behalf of the Holy Catholic Church, I welcome you all to this blessed season of Lent. Lent is a very special season in the life of every Christian. All through the 40 days, we go through the passion, death and resurrection of our Lord. According to Catholic Encyclopedia, the real aim of Lent is above else to prepare men for the celebration of the death, resurrection of Christ. The better the preparation, the more effective the celebration. We are here to relive the mystery and we can do it only when our hearts and minds are purified. There is a small story said about a soldier in 1961 when there was a war between India and China. This soldier with a lot of enthusiasm went to fight the war. And six months, the only training that was given to him was that when someone would come through the gate, he is supposed to ask a question. And if he doesn't get the answer, he is supposed to run and stab that person in the heart. This simple thing, he practiced for six months. And he was thinking in his heart, was for this that I joined the army? What am I doing? The simple thing, just to go ask a question, and if not find an answer, stab that person. And he was finding no meaning in his preparation period. Six months was given to him, one task, and he didn't put his heart in mind because he was thinking that task was very little for him. And that day came. The day when it was not a rehearsal, but a reality. When the enemy came and asked, that same question was asked to the enemy and the enemy didn't answer. This person was supposed to go and stab the enemy and go and ring the alarm so that the army would be ready and the bridge that was connecting the army area would be safe. But this person was not able to do it. And what was the result? India lost that area. Why? Because of this one person who did not give himself to preparation in a one single thing. That's, that's the importance of preparation, dear brothers and sisters. If the preparation is not done properly here and here, that is in our mind and in our heart, then we will not be ready, not be prepared enough to celebrate the passion, death and resurrection of our Lord. The purpose of Lent is to provide that purification by weaning men from sin and selfishness through self-denial and prayer by creating in them the desire to do God's will and to make his kingdom come by making our own heartful efforts. Lent is a season of returning back to the cross from where flows the source of life. The three sacraments that have a lot of prominence for us in the season of Lent are the sacrament of baptism, sacrament of penance, and the sacrament of Eucharist. First, sacrament of baptism. The sacrament of baptism flows not from the waters of Jordan. It flows from the blood of the cross. The sacrament of baptism flows from the blood of the cross because through dying for us on the cross, Jesus Christ brought us salvation and that salvation we receive in baptism. Our original sins are washed away, Catechism teaches us. How? Because of His death on the cross. So what are we supposed to do? In the season of Lent, we are supposed to look at baptism and to see whether we are truthful to the promises that we made during baptism. What are those promises? To reject Satan and all his empty works. To believe in God 
the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. There are five I do's that we said on the day of baptism. We didn't say it was our parents who said on our behalf. And we said the same I do's on the day of our confirmation. We confirmed our faith. Where are we in relation to these questions? Are we really living to the baptismal promises? That is what we are supposed to question these 40 days. Coming to the sacrament of penance. Repent and believe in the kingdom of God. The first words of Jesus. Repentance is what the readings of today call us to. Repentance is what the whole season of Lent calls us to. Repentance and repair is very close. What is repair? Repair of a bike. My bike was working good. Now it came to repair. And repair means everything unnecessary is removed. And everything that is necessary is kept. So that my bike now will get back to its original condition of working properly. If we have to get to the original condition, we are supposed to get ourselves repaired. And repentance is the way in which we repair ourselves. That is, we get rid of sin and fill ourselves with grace. Get rid of sin, remove sin and fix ourselves with grace. And that's why, dear brethren, in this season of Lent, each one of us is called to visit the sacrament of penance. Not only just before uh, Good Friday, you make it for namesake. No. Make it as often in the season of Lent. And make it meaningful too. Sacrament of penance, of repentance, of repair, of revisiting the Lord, of returning to the Lord. And the third is the Holy Eucharist. In Holy Eucharist, we not only receive the Lord, but in this season of Lent, we ask our Lord to receive us into His presence. We make ourselves worthy to be received by our Lord. And this is what we do in the season of Lent. My dear brothers and sisters, how are we planning to make our Lent meaningful? Let me ask you, how are you planning to make your Lent meaningful? Fasting, abstinence, and what more? Showing people that you are fasting by making a show out of it. I know many of my friends, wherever I go, you would become a good friend of mine. Thank God for that. And what happens? They are saints 40 days and the father of sinners on the day of Easter. As soon as Easter comes, all of them with huge bottles in their hand. But all through 40 days, they don't even smell the drink. And all through 40 days, they crave and they wait for these days to end. That's not abstinence. That's not fasting. Some people term fasting as a way of dieting. Lent is not a name for dieting. Then how are we to plan our Lent? First, accept with patience the slice and hurts that come our way. Acceptance. Being open-hearted and willing to give our time, our talent and complete, total self to God. Being cheerful and not gloomy. Enduring hardships like a true witness. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verses 3 speaks this. Fast. Fast from food and things that give you joy. So there is a small story said about the hen and the goat. After listening to a good Lenten sermon, the hen tells to the goat, we have to do some sacrifice. I will sacrifice my egg. You sacrifice your meat. Whose sacrifice is a real sacrifice? The hen is telling that it will only sacrifice its egg, but it will be alive. And the goat, it sacrifices its meat. Will it be alive after that? 
So what kind of sacrifice are we making? Hen type of sacrifice or goat type of sacrifice? Should ask ourselves. Giving self to Bible reading. This is what we are supposed to do in this Lent. Give ourselves to listening to God. Keep ourselves and our practices with courage. Many people start good but are not able to continue it. Instead of taking up, we give up. What Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me. And those who give up cannot take up. Galatians chapter 6 verses 9 says, We are not supposed to grow weary or tired or bored of doing good. So all through 40 days, we keep the same energy which with, with which we start. And try to attend Mass as often as possible. All through year, we make Sundays as the only day when we attend Mass. And all the rest days, we are busy with our works. But at least during the Lent, if it's possible, every day, 40 days. And if it's not possible, as much as possible, let us go to Mass, receive the Lord in the Eucharist. Let us forgive people who have trespassed against us. And prayer, both rosary and meditation. Let it be a part of our daily Lenten observance. And make reparation for our sins. If I take my bike for repair, let me come back to the example. If the problem is in the clutch plate, clutch plate and the repairer is doing something with the tire, what's the use? He has to touch the clutch plate. He has to put the oil and repair it. Then only my bike will be in a working position again. If he does something to the tire, my bike will again be in the same position. So during this Lent, what are we supposed to do? Do reparation for our sins. We know our sins very well. So without touching our sins and our sinfulness, if we just fast and leave, then what's the meaning? So dear brothers and sisters in Christ, why did people of Nineveh fast? People of Nineveh fasted out of repentance. And why do we fast? Out of habit? For the sake of keeping tradition? No! We too are supposed to fast for the same reason why people of Nineveh fasted. They fasted so that the wrath of God may not be upon them. Say they fasted so that they may get closer to God, that they may be termed righteous in the sight of God, that they may please God. And these are the same reasons for which we are supposed to fast out of repentance and not out of repetition. Dear brothers and sisters, let us utilize this season of Lent for the glory of God and for our salvation of souls. Let us look at the people of Israel. 40 years in the desert, they wasted. After all, we have only 40 days in our hand. We too can waste. They wasted 40 years. What big deal in wasting 40 days? We can. But should we? No. Let us utilize each day of the season towards getting closer to God. They did not get closer to God in 40 years. Let us use these 40 days to get closer to God. Let us walk in the narrow path and find the treasure. May the Lord help us this season of Lent. May the Lord make our Lent meaningful. Amen.